for those who are just getting here, I'm Mo Poetry Phillips. I'm the community engagement manager here, which this is the facility we're using, Workplace Sensi, and you're using your voice, you're giving your truth, okay? And that is very, very important. Treat me like a kid, but I'm still old enough to be crazy, right? I never understood that logic. I've been chasing self-confidence for so long because I could've been playing duck, duck, goose. I'm through with you. <laughs> But good soul, healthy body, and great mindset. A 9.8, a 10, and another 10. When we look at the school report card systems, we look at the curriculum, we look at standardized testing, and the state of our schools right now, they are very clear that it's not working, that they, they don't like the test, they don't like the way that it's set up, they want to have more connections. So much for young people in terms of sharing their thoughts and ideas is they don't get the opportunity to. It's always run through a filter of a, of a parent, of a grandparent, or a teacher. And it's run through that filter. And here at Wordplay, what it does, it gets unfiltered. Becoming a poet isn't necessarily what I wanted. But since I'm here, I might as well take this mic and own it. You know, they're moving the art classes, the music classes, and everything outside of the schools now. and they're just dying to have that back in the schools. We need, to, we need to listen. We need to create the opportunities for them that will tap into these strengths that each of them have in them, but they might not yet know they have. The best part about art making is like the experience of becoming something and not trying to be a thing, like I wanna be this or I be that. And I think that's the best part of it, the mental health thing is like, kids discovering like, oh, this is in me. The youth are asking adults to more deeply listen. Like, listen, listen to what's happening here. To engage from the space of listening and curiosity. To assume, recognize, and acknowledge the deep set of intelligence that exists inside of youth spaces. My voice has power to fight for others whom are afraid and scared to fight. My voice gave me the power to change what others think of me. The power to show the world what I'm made of. Because my voice is not just a voice. My voice is change. I think building a relationship with the student, not like in the first day of school, but like over time, getting closer to the students, getting to know better, make them feel like they're comfortable sharing their problems with you would be one of the biggest um, pro um, things to solve a problem. What Wordplay provided was a platform for us to allow them to not just share their thoughts and their feelings and their ideas, but to how to broadcast them out to a, a community that really needed to get to know them and needed to know that they are now a part of this community. I just provide the space for them. I have a quick conversation and be like, hey, here's studio equipment, here's podcast equipment, here's art materials, create. And, and put on some music and let's just talk. And then once that, oh, this is a place for me to kick it. And then once they get that vibe, then, then they start sharing stuff. What we need to see is what's underneath. And when we, when we get into these ideas of, of, of fearless reading, fearless speaking, fearless writing, fearless presenting, fearless action of, you know, of, in, in a social environment, you know, that is really when we see um, value. When young people are supported in building coherence around that process of basic storytelling and then encouraged to layer in all sorts of dynamics of creativity, um, very compelling stories emerge. It's a black boy go. From my perspective, I done seen things being blown out of perception. From you throwing a fist smack in your lips getting called you in the jail cell under a minute. So if you want to make it home, black boy, then you better get the running.